This is calculator question number 23 in practice test 5. It's also the May 2016 SAT. College Board gives us a table with purchase price and rental price for several real estate locations and they ask which of these equations gives the rental price as a function of purchase price. One way to find this is to find the slope. The slope is R2 minus R1 over P2 minus P1 and since the slopes are different among the equations, the slope will tell us which one is correct. So looking at the first two rental prices, that would be 1310 minus 950 over price in thousands of dollars, 176 minus 128. And on my calculator, that is 1310 minus 950 is 360. over 176 minus 128 is 48 and that would be 7.5. Since choice D is the only choice with a slope of 7.5, that would be the correct answer. A second option is to pick one property. Let's take Hamilton Circle. I like to pick the last one on the list and see if the rental price 3365 matches each formula for a purchase price in thousands of dollars of 128, 176, 70, 140, 450, whichever, it doesn't matter. So let's try choice A with the last one, that would be 2.5 times purchase price of 415 thousandths minus 870 and that's 255, which is not the actual rental price. Let's try choice B. 5 times 450 plus 165, and that's 2415, which is also not the rental price of 3365, so choice B is wrong. Let's try C. 6.5 times 450 plus 440 and that gives me 2965, which is also not 3365, so C is wrong. Choice D, 7.5 times 450 minus 10 gives me 3365, which matches the monthly rental price in the table. So choice D is the only one that fits that point, and that means it's the only one that could be correct, so that would be my answer. College Board often asks you to fit a line into data. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.